It's a troubling thought. When you ask women, they feel disturbed by the practice. A female patient in surgery, under anesthesia or unconscious, and a medical student conducts a pelvic exam for training purposes without her consent or knowledge. And it's purely educational. I mean, it's not for her benefit at all. Phoebe Friesian, a postdoctoral fellow at Oxford, talked to us via Skype. She learned about the practice while working with medical students who frequently told her about this dilemma. A lot of the students felt understandably very strange about it. They were being asked to put their hand inside a woman's body that they knew hadn't consented. She published the article in the Journal of Bioethics. The practice is surprising and it is legal. Only five states have a law requiring consent. California, Hawaii, Illinois, Oregon and Virginia. Maryland is about to join them. A lot of Marylanders, particularly women, realized that this wasn't the law and became quite concerned. Maryland delegate Heather Bagnall introduced legislation. It's very scary, the idea that, that you could be vulnerable and not be protected under, under the law. House Bill 364 forbids healthcare practitioners, students and trainees from performing pelvic, rectal or prostate exams on unconscious or anesthetized patients without written consent or unless medically necessary. When it comes to training exams, most hospitals do have some sort of consent form that a patient needs to sign, but there's no law, and that is why the bill was introduced. All we're saying is that you have to get consent. It's not that you can't do these exams. It's not that, that, we, that we want to stifle training or education. It's that we want to say, you just have to, you have to notify the patient, and you have to get their consent. Phoebe Friesian says studies indicate more than half of women would consent to an exam while anesthetized. It's not going to prevent students from learning in the way that I think a lot of physicians fear it will. It passed in the House, and it's expected to pass in the Senate, too. In Annapolis, Megan Pringle, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Megan, thank you. Uh, the bill passed unanimously in the House of Delegates, and now the state Senate is considering it. It's